video not yet rated. Tip of the day, a patient man has great understanding, but a quick-tempered man displays folly. Oh, so this tip of the day message also means foolishness. Trouble. Having to go first all the time only leads to trouble, like making Ray and Overseer Scotty throw a tantrum by firing him and throwing him out the windows. Now, the consequences are not always so extreme, but good things come to those who wait. Oh for God's sake, not another tip of the day message. This one says so do not fear, for I am with you. Isaiah 4110. Do I really have to read these tip of the day messages? Besides, I have a really bad habit of firing people, making them throw tantrums and kicking them out the windows. And this one says Jesus answered, I tell you, not seven times, but seventy times seven. Matthew 1822. Not another tip of the day message. Forgive others, as the Lord forgave you. Colossians 3.14 May. If another tip of the day message pops up, I will get so furious. Because this one says love your neighbor as yourself. Leviticus 19.18 Holy Mother of God! Not another tip of the day message! One more tip of the day message and I will spaz! Now, this one says, stand firm, and hold to the teachings we passed on to you. 2 Thessalonians 2.15 that is it. I'm spazzing out because this tip of the day message says, with God, all things are possible. Matthew 1926. <laughs> June 16th, 2018, Chicago, Illinois. It is Bill Visker's birthday party and he is turning 52. The gang head to Chicago for the celebration. The GameCube intro bloopers go on as usual. Places everyone. Roll camera. Cue the GameCube intro. Phil Visker, it's so good to see you again. You too, Sam. And guess what? What? Today is my birthday and I'm turning 52. Happy birthday, Phil Visker. Thanks, Red Sack Animation. Who's this lovely lady? I'm Felicity, it's nice to meet you. Yorktown Center. That's the mall in Lombard, Illinois, where Big Idea was between 1997 and July 2004. Stop. <laughs> Boy, hey, here we go again. Sam berating Scotty and Kate for a simple little blooper. It's the same old song and dance. First Sam berates Scotty and Kate, and then fires them. And then Scotty and Kate threaten to kill themselves and Sam refuses to accept responsibility. And then Sam throws Scotty and Kate out the door. And Red Sack Animation and or Mr. Richardson blasts Sam for firing Scotty and Kate and brings them back. And Sam throws a tantrum over his authority being overridden. Sam, why don't you give up? You're breathing Scotty and Kate, for these bloopers is getting very boring. We're getting illness and fatigue from it. Illness and fatigue? We're sick and tired of it. <laughs> so what's so boring about needing to have some authority over these videos? Don't you get it, Sam? Your treatment of Scotty and Kate is making us all bored, you hear me? B-O-R-D, bored. Ah, oh, man overboard. It's all doubtful, Sam.
I don't give a fuck about boredom. I've had it with the both of you, Scotty and Kate. You shut your mouth! <laughs> with the fucking commercial plugs in a GameCube intro. Scotty and Kate's firing is justified, you hear? J-U-S-T-I-F-I-E-D, -E justified. Justified my ass. We hire Scotty and Kate right now or I call the FBI on you. Absolutely not. If you dare bring Scotty and Kate back, I'll kick you all out of here, you hear me? I'll kick you all out of here. How dare you mistreat Matt Crowley? You know better than to fire Scotty and Kate. And how dare you refuse to rehire them both? You know better than to do that. Bring them back. Now. Never. They're banned from here forever, and if you make one false move, I'll kick all of you out the fucking windows. Absolutely not, Sam. Stop being a control freak and bring Scotty and Kate back. But Mr. Richardson, how else can I exert authority around you without other people's interferences? But don't you dare overstep the bounds of your authority again. That's going in, Mr. Richardson. I agree with Jacob Harvey. By the way, this is the first time we've seen you in person in our videos. The intercom's out for repairs. Do I get my job back? Me too? Yes, Scotty and Kate. Now get back to work. Roger, Dodger. How dare you interfere with my authority, you ass wipes. I've got a good mind to charge you all with mutiny. Mutiny, shoot me. Stop acting like a control freak or I nail you to the GameCube intro. No, Mr. Richardson. Don't nail me to the GameCube intro again. You want the FBI to have you arrested in a major fine? No, Sam. I'm not nailing you to the GameCube intro. Then what will you do with me, you fucking dumbass? Does this answer your question, Microsoft fucking Sam? You shut your mouth! <laughs> Microsoft Sim, you were fired. Out you fucking go. <laughs> I'm stay out. You fucking control freak. Thank you, Mr. Richardson. You saved our jobs as well as our lives. You're welcome, Scotty and Kate. Come back to work. I don't want you two getting into any more trouble. Will do, Mr. V. I'm so glad we came back, Scotty. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Holy shit! Got me on and my little pony logos! Save us, Jesus! Where's your head yet? A whole lot of you. Where's your army of my little pony logos and we come to scare and trigger a lot of you? All right. Who sent in the army of my little pony logos? Not me. Not me. Not me. Not me. Not me. Somebody's lying. Not me. Not me. Not me. Not me. Not me. One of you is lying. Who did it? Nobody's lying, Phil. None of us would even think about sending an army of logos in here. We are all artisans, not terrorists or anything like that. 
So who could be the army of Logos Wrangler? Here's a clue, Hiccup. Felicity and I found a note here on the computer. What does it say, Red Zack Animation? Dear Cinemation Studio staff, I sent in the army of my little pony logos. I request to show you that you haven't heard the last of me. Signed, Microsoft Sam. Sam sent in the army of my little pony logos, I request. I should've known that Control Freak would be behind this. Who does he think this is? King George and the Ducky. For whether you are a king or just a kid, God wants us all to think of others first. No, this is not King George and the Ducky, this is King Cube and Drove Bloopers. And I took the liberty of filing a wrongful termination lawsuit against you, Mr. Richardson. That lawsuit is only gonna be frivolous, Sam. If you think you can stick to terrorism to con me into rehiring you just so you can abuse radar over your Scotty and Kate Reynolds again, you got another thing coming. Sunday morning values, Saturday morning fun. We think that's a big idea. Sam, 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 Sam. Matt, Matt, Matt. You just made the list! How dare you put me on the list? That's insubordination. Stop now or you're all gonna be fired. You hear me? Fired, 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 fired. Take it easy, Sam. Money talks. Yes, what? You broke the fourth wall again, Microsoft motherfucking Sam. And you know what this means, you fuck. What, plush blue EP? You just made the list! Take it easy, Sam. Take a deep breath and let it all slide. Remain. Calm. Uh oh. Tantrum in five, four, three, two, one. No, 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 damn, 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 crap, 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 the next person who puts me on the fucking list, I will kick you all out of here, you hear me, you ass, wipes, 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 ass, wipes. Sam? Sam? Are you alright? Speak to me, Sam. I'm okay, Samantha. First, Matt Crowley added me to his list, not Lush Blue EP. Oh, the irony. It's okay, Sam. Let's see what comes up next. <laughs> To the content of this video series, the entire series of GameCube intro bloopers, by Screencast Cinemation has been scrapped and all cast and crew members have been sent to the Interpol jail. Try to stop us, and you will be put in the Interpol jail. You have been warned. You hear me? W-A-R-N-E-D, warned. Due to the Interpol taking over this channel, your regularly scheduled broadcast, Interpol Canada, will begin right now. Major funding for this Interpol Canada broadcast is provided by the William and Flora Hewlett Foundation, the Kresge Foundation, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and the Geraldine R. Dodge Foundation. Additional funding is provided by the National Black Programming Consortium and the Civil Society Institute, Catalysts for Change. This Interpol Canada broadcast is also made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thank you.
Tonight, on Interpol Canada, at 10, we will review Cinemation Television's upcoming series, 3 to 1 Penguins, based on the American CQ series of the same name. Then, later at 11, we will discuss that, due to the old big idea, incorporated in Tennessee, closing its doors due to the cancellation of Betty Tales, another American CG series, it is said to be replaced by the new big idea, incorporated in British Columbia. All this and more coming up on Interpol Canada, because all of you Canadians out there, we are watching you. Good evening, and thank you for being forced to watch the entire broadcast of Interpol Canada. We will be starting out this broadcast with Sears Roebuck Animation founders Tim Sears and Peter Roebuck. Hold it right there. You're not going to broadcast your shows in our channel. In fact, I have a forward explanation to back this statement up. I am Microsoft. Sam. Besides, I heard Cinemation is working on Sonic Guy and the Robot from Outer Space. A lesson in telling the truth. We are working on that, Sam, but right now we are returning you to your regularly scheduled broadcast. Problem. Is there something wrong? Yes, problem. Since when did Street Jacket come out on the Nintendo GameCube? It was made by Columbia Pictures, not Nintendo. Take it easy, Sam. And why is the torch lady's head cut off when it's supposed to be strongly glued to her neck? You mean the designers cut her head off? Sick. Gross. Now look here, Scotty and Kate. Super Smash Brothers Melee, Super Mario Sunshine, Mario Kart Double Dash and Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door are video games released for the Nintendo GameCube, but Straight Jacket is not. To make a tired point, in the words of Steve Martin. Well, that's you! <laughs> Alright, I've had enough weight of both of you. You son of a bitch! Hold still, Sam. Don't let this setback bother you. Take a deep breath. Remain. Cool. Uh oh. Tantrum in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. No, 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 damn, 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 crap, 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 the next person who fucks with me, I will fly you out the goddamn windows. Can you hear me? Stop fucking with me, you idiots, 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 idiots. <laughs> Microsoft Sam, you are fired. Police officer Jenny, you called Red Sack Animation. I officially declare Microsoft Sam guilty of perjury and sentence him to five years in jail. Lock him up. Microsoft Sam, you're under arrest. Ghost Thinker. <laughs> Another happy birthday from all of us and the studios of Big Idea. Thanks, Red Sack Animation. Mike and I will see you in our studio.
Hi, I'm Harrison Adams, the CEO of STC Digital Enterprise Group Incorporated, DBA STC Fetish Muffin. Something told me yesterday what Phil Vischer's birthday or something like that. Turns out it is a good thing that Microsoft Sam doesn't know how to drive for sure in Franklin, Tennessee. Microsoft Sam, this is our car. Are you crazy? Get out of the driver's seat right now. Shut up, Mrs. Birthday Slutso. <gasps> Stop calling me Mrs. Birthday Slutso. Now get out of the car. Yes, ma'am. Birthday Slut. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs>